Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Well, hello guys. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So as you can see, I'm back here in Kuwait. The uh, infamous curtains there. So, um, yeah, I'm back in Kuwait and I thought I would talk a bit. I didn't film any of my journey home, really. I don't think so. I'm, I was so tired and out of it that I don't even remember what I filmed. But I'm finally here. And when I tell you that this journey is probably the worst one, it was just... <sighs> Every single thing that I had fear about with traveling as a fat person happened to me. And um, I, I swear, Allah was testing me. And you know what? I got through it. So I learned the lesson here that even if something is like really hard, you can still get through it. Basic, but so good to have and valuable in life because we're going to face problems. I mean, trying to avoid them is probably more of a waste of time than learning how to deal with them and because of what i went through on this trip i've learned that you know i can get through these things no problem they're not fun too but they're not meant to be so i'll show you my big surprise after um so stay tuned watch the whole video till the end because somewhere in the video i'm gonna put you wait till you see like i don't know if they're called reservate renovations but everything done to the place okay so it's like new here all right so um basically what happened was you know how i booked like kind of in haste just like last minute because i'm impulsive like that i was like no i can't sit here anymore and just be depressed and like i have to come home and, and just be at my place and everything like that and deal with you know what we're dealing with together and everything everything like that so i said you know to salah my husband i said book me a flight ASAP, uh, you know, just ASAP, like in the next couple of days. So I left on the 3rd of January and the flight was full. Like it was, at, it's after holidays. It was a full flight. I wasn't even able to, to buy two seats if I even wanted to. <laughs> okay. So, um, even the business class was booked cause I was like, okay, so you know, business class is not as expensive as first class. Uh, you know, I could maybe justify that it has a bigger seat. It's private. Next time, I think I will. <laughs> and then I can give like a review of it. So anyway, so um, they're like, sorry, ma'am, it's full. So I'm like the whole time I'm freaking out. I was so nervous of like, I'm going through scenarios like, okay, um, how bad am I going to be encroaching on the person next to me? Um, is it going to be a huge man? Because then, you know, if it's a very tiny person, that might be okay. Um, my eyeliner's leaking because it's not waterproof. So anyway, I had to take my car, park it. Then I had to take a taxi to the Ottawa train station. Then, then a bus, like a charter bus to Montreal airport. Okay. The Pierre Elliott Trudeau airport. And on the way, the cab driver was like telling me that you know everything is so bad in Canada right now with like food prices and poverty and he said that he went to the grocery store and he went into the bathroom and there was like a chicken half eaten chicken and apparently the guy coming out said I left you some so people are actually this is really sad people are taking food like rotisserie chickens into the bathroom and eating them and just not paying you know which is probably honestly less risky than walking out with the detectors so anyway um yeah that was interesting conversation um so then i you know my my flight was at 8 55 um you know you always board earlier than take off so um i got on the plane and it was one of those you know how you have like there's like three rows of seats in the plane um on the left and right there's like rows of three and then in the middle there's a, a row of four seats 
Well, luckily I had the aisle seat so that I could spill out if I wanted to, except when dinner service is coming. But sitting beside me was this grumpy looking younger man, like younger um, man from India. And he was just like, um, and I know he's from India because I heard him talking to the person beside him. So anyway, he was like younger. He wasn't too big. So that was good. Uh, so I was like freaking out. Everyone's looking at me. I was like one of the last people to get on the plane and I asked for an extender. So I had to kind of like, you know, be like, excuse me, as I take my, my seat belt and plug it in. And anyway, finally, when I sit down, um, that was the moment. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for the moment I'm so scared for and boom it was okay <laughs> like I actually so the seats in the Qatar plane are actually a bit bigger than the Emirates because in the Emirates I remember like I had trouble with the handle going down unless I lost a bit of weight I don't know I don't think so but anyway the the bars came down it was like a bit snug but like with the seatbelt extender I was fine we actually weren't even really touching which really surprised me so I thought oh my gosh Okay, <laughs> and I think I like this is like a test I'm glad I went through because it showed me that, you know, it's one of my biggest fears and I was fine. Okay, so I was okay this time. I was happy. Um, the dinner service table doesn't come out all the way. So it comes out, it came out halfway for me. Like it folds once and then twice out. So I could fold it, unfold it once and I probably could have gotten away with a tray of food being on it but I didn't want to like I don't know I had a fear about that and I didn't want to use the washroom so I literally did not eat I had drinks a lot of drinks I didn't eat I didn't go to the bathroom for 12 hours straight I just in and out of like consciousness not sleep because I don't really sleep if I don't have my CPAP like I don't I just keep getting woken up <laughs> by my breathing so anyway the flight actually went by really quickly I don't know and by some miracle I swear I was just like it went by really quickly and um, I watched the movie Psycho like the original with <laughs> with Anthony Perkins the guy beside me was just kind of like looking at my movie like what the heck is <laughs> you know <laughs> so uh yeah he looked um he looked a bit like he'd been through some things in life like a bit rough on the you know on the edges so i thought okay good he's been through some things so he'll he'll get through sitting next to a fat person on a plane <laughs> so um that was that and then i was just i was so tired because i didn't sleep so for sure if i have to fly like super long flight like that again i'm going to get business like if if there's any available because on qatar they sell out quick because they're so like they're one of the best business classes and you can plug your CPAP in there so I can sleep <laughs> and you know it's private you don't have to worry about anything so anyway um so after the 12 hours by the time I got to Doha I was so tired I just saw the first trolley driver guy and I'm like I need to get to my gates I only had like a two hour um, and some odd minutes transfer time and it went by really quick we boarded a bit early so uh yeah that again I, I didn't even care at this point I was like whatever seat I'm assigned whatever because I'd gone through 12 hours of it I can get through an hour right so I was sitting beside a very small woman and I had so much room so Qatar definitely I, I heard one plus size influencer say they like Emirates for the best international flight for plus size people I say Qatar is for sure Sorry, there's a fly somewhere. I got him when we were washing the windows, like from the outside. If you don't wash your windows here, like um, the the sand dust will make them very dirty quickly. And Salah has really long arms, so he helps me with that. What are you doing? Yeah, catch the fly. Make yourself useful. <laughs> Baby girl. I love Persian cats because from the side like that, their side profile, it looks like they have no face. It's just smush. Smushy smush. 
Get the fly. Please? <laughs> anyway. I find with cats, you're always cheering them on to hunt, and then whenever they get the bug, they just pat at it and torture it. Anyway, all of this was worth it because when I was, you know, getting out of the luggage area, just tired, hungry, sweaty, just miserable, you know, I had my husband greeting me and it was so nice to get in, you know, the car, the new car, <laughs> not the Kia, and just, oh, coming home. And I have to say now, really, being back and forth a few, a couple different times, this feels more like home for me right now. So the biggest thing, the biggest thing, when I came home and our apartment door was opened, I want to almost cry because I didn't even recognize our place. It was such a big shock. Um, I'll show you our, like, Salah basically redecorated the entire place. Um, well, the living room and the bedroom and then um, Harry, we call it Harry's room. <laughs> Howie's room um, is pretty much the same, but we have a lamp for that place now we have a new lamp but that's about it <laughs> for that room so i'll show you here um the new living room we're not going to show our bedroom we have a brand new bedroom set in the bedroom and oh my gosh you guys the bed is such an upgrade because i showed you in our old apartment hall in our old apartment hall you saw our bedroom once that bed you know wasn't really really comfortable but it was big enough so this is such an upgrade like it's the plushiest mattress and the bed is a huge storage bed from ikea has like a lot of storage shelves she likes to sleep in some of them um has an area like a big thick ledge i could put my cpap and everything whatever you know um so we also have like a huge new wardrobe has like that like you know is it hydraulic i don't know where you, like it doesn't smash the drawers when you close they close themselves a bit and it's all a mirror it's beautiful and then we have um the living room so i'll show that to you now so here it is our new living room look how different and amazing this looks guys we have a slightly different color scheme, although we still did keep some of the old, but we have a brand new, larger carpet. This is sorta new, but we kept this little organizational cubby thing. I really like it. And here we have a little dining set. I didn't even know we had room for a dining area, but a little four-seater. And um, I love these little fake lights inside but these little jars of lights that Salah picked out they're so cute all right and here we have the new sofa it is a traditional type of Dioania style um, sofa set and it kind of wraps around the whole living room I really love the color it kind of brightens up the room and goes well with the carpet and here we have a table set that comes with a large table and three smaller tables. And the cool thing is you can remove the tables and put them anywhere you want. We have one in the corner with the lamp. And we have Bakur, Quran, and a nice roses decoration in the center of the table. And obviously the best part about this condo is the seaside view. It just adds that, that touch, you know. There's also this wall decoration that Salah picked out, also matches with everything, and I just really like the style of it, it's cool. And of course, the cat loves all the new furniture. Um, she's so cute, look at her, oh my gosh. And in case you're wondering, here's my big boy getting his big daily peanut. He loves peanuts, and he likes to use those little choppers of his to open the shell. Oh, I missed my cute mouse rat, big hamster boy. Yes, I did. And this was our first breakfast together. 
a traditional Arabic breakfast with falafel, different kinds of jubin or cheese. Patsia, which is hummus with ful, and we had some sandwiches there and some fatayr. It was very, very delicious. You know how much I love the falafel. Oh, in the middle of the cheese platter, it comes with jam and it has tomatoes and za'atar and olives and uh, all kinds of things. It was so delicious. If you haven't tried halloumi with jam on bread, you have to. It's so good. And I usually just take a falafel and dip it. And there you go, yummy. And this is in the evening. I just wanted to show you our ceiling lights, which also kind of match with the color scheme of our living room. So yeah, this is a um, very typical kind of style here for the Middle East, um, for like gatherings or diwaniya they call it. and. It's like kind of wraps around the whole room. I really, really, really love it. So it's very nice. It's a bit low to the ground, but some of them are on the floor, you know? So yeah, so my, my trip home was arduous. It was very testing and I uh, really need to get healthy so that I can do things like that, like travel and I mean, traveling for anyone, even healthy people, it's stressful, you know? My, my body hurts a bit from sitting for so long. I did the compression stockings worked because my feet are not swollen at all. I'm so happy. So I got home and I had, I was just like, wow, you did all this work like in such a little time, you know? So like within a day, just went shopping for everything and then pl like placed everything. Like people are going nuts in the streets today. Sorry for the noise. If you can hear that. What are you doing? What do you do we? So then I had a shower and just oh, got in the new bed with the nice new sheets and oh, it was so amazing. Just an amazing night and yeah, an amazing night. <laughs> um, being home. So the cat, the pets were so happy to see me. I'm just. I feel so, so, so happy right now. So, um, I guess that's about it. So thank you for, uh, watching this video. And as much as I enjoyed showing you our new home, it feels like a new home. It feels so different. Like it's crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.